Hi guys, today we're going to talk to you about the Sage dual boiler. Now, what you'll note about this machine is that um, unlike all of the other Sage machines that I know, this machine does not have a hopper up here to grind the coffee. In fact, you have to get a separate grinder for it. So, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the Sage Grinder Pro. Also then about the Sage dual boiler. Now you're going to ask me what does a dual boiler mean? And I'm going to talk to you in terms of how your home immersion system works, right? So a dual boiler means that there are two boilers inside this machine. One of them looks after the hot water for the espresso and the other boiler looks after the hot water or the steam for the steam arm. And you can think about this at home. So if you have an immersion in your house and you have maybe two showers, or even a shower and a sink. And if someone is taking a shower and you draw water off the sink, uh, the water, the hot water in the shower might lose some um, temperature um, or the hot water in the sink might, might draw off cold water and then draw off hot. And what you're doing is you're taking hot water from one source, which is typically one immersion in a house. So this machine, in terms of immersion, has two immersions. So you never lose heat in either area. You always have heat for espresso and you always have heat for steam, which actually means you can make uh, milk texture and brew espresso at the same time. Super stuff. So that's what's so important about this dual boiler machine is the technology inside it means that you don't lose heat. Um, and if you watch our other videos, for example, on the Sage Brista Pro or on the Brista Touch, you'll see there's always a little bit of lag time between when we make the espresso and when we texture for milk. And even on the Brista Pro, you'll see that I tend to purge the steam arm a little bit so that we get the steam arm up to temperature. And this is because in the other models, let's say the cheaper models, the heating technology is a lot different and it's cheaper, okay? So this machine is a bit of a level up. It has got a 58 mil porta filter, so a nice big double basket so you can fit 18, 19, 20 grams of coffee, which means you can use all the coffees in our range. Um, it has got temperature control, so you can see that we're brewing at 92, 93, 94 degrees for espresso, which means we're getting more and more technical as we go up into the machine technology. Um, you can watch the pressure profile, so you can watch that we actually brew espresso at 8 or 9 bar um, continuously throughout the shot. Um, and we have a bit more manual control because we also have the grinder. So we have the Sage dual boiler machine with its own technology here, great heating system inside um, and uh, temperature stability. And then we have this uh, grinder where we have uh, great control over the type of fineness that we need for espresso um, across all the different coffees. So let's get straight into brewing and I'm gonna show you what we have set up on this. Um, so this grinder has little bits of functionality. I'm just going to put down the porta filter while I show you the grinder. Um, so on this grinder, there's a dial here to the side, which allows us to adjust the grind size. So we have this set at nine for our home blend. We have here the shot selector. So this tells us whether we're doing two shots or one shots. I always make a double shot as standard. As you know, every coffee that we make in our roastery, in our Guji coffee bars, at home, it's always a double shot as standard. And here then you have grind time, which tells you how long you want the grinder to uh, grind for in seconds. And we can turn this up, turn this down. So we're looking at 18.6 seconds. So that's the setting right now, let's have a look at it. Let's see how good an espresso it makes. So 18.6 seconds on the grind time. We're gonna pour a double shot. The size of the particles that we want is really, really fine. So we say fine like uh, icing sugar. If you can picture what icing sugar looks like, we're really, really fine. And it's actually number nine on this grinder. So I've got a hot porta filter. It's been sitting in the espresso machine um, so the portafilter is nice and hot, uh, it's up to temperature, and that's very important. We're going to put the portafilter in here. I'm going to weigh it on the scales. You might see me doing this in other videos where I just check to see what the dose is uh, before I put it into the machine. So let's take our shots.
Okay, beautiful. So there we go. A little bit of a mountain of coffee there. And if you've seen before, we'll just groom this. We give it a little tap on the table so it's all packed in. Let's just weigh it. Okay, so 19 grams. That tells me that we need to brew for 27, 28 seconds and we should have about 40 grams in the cup. So I'm gonna take that there. I'm gonna put a cup here so now I can just weigh the result when it comes out. I'm going to tamp, so we'll take our tamper. We'll just tamp this coffee, press down, little quarter twist. That's our presentation in the basket, nice and flat, just like you're making a sandcastle. Okay, and we're gonna look here and we're gonna get this locked in. So I'm going to, I haven't used this for about half an hour, so I'm just going to manually draw off some water. Just making sure that the group head itself is nice and hot. Okay, so that's that. We're gonna place this in here. Our cup is at zero, just so I can measure out the result. Let's lock it in. And you're gonna watch this pre-infuse. I'm gonna go manually here. I'm gonna just do it manually. And let's watch this shot. Let's see how it flows. Does it start really, really slow? And does it taper in at the start to give us a really nice extraction? Yes, beautiful. So nice tapering in. I'm gonna stop this at 28 seconds. And let's look for the results. I'd love to have about 40 grams in the cup. So let's see how close we get to that. Okay, so I have 30 grams in the cup, right? Um, so that tells me maybe that my shot ran a little bit short, but I'm not unhappy about that. We're using the home blend here. So there's a great bit of range and flavor and everybody's machine is going to be different. What's important is, does your shot look like that? So that's what's really important. Does it start really slow? Does it taper in? Does it look oily and syrupy? And then in the cup, do you have this tiger stripes inside? Um, and do you have this rich oily crema? And when you swirl it around, you can see the viscosity of it. So that's what's super important about this uh, presentation of espresso. So that's our espresso. Now I'm gonna go straight in and do the milk. So I'm just gonna move around here and uh, we're gonna texture the milk. So like before, we'll purge the steam arm. And it's straight away, you can tell it's got enough pressure. We'll put in at an angle, start it off. We'll add a little bit of air. Nice and quiet. And then again, temperature stickers. And we're going up to 65 degrees. Same as always, this is lovely and quiet and very fast actually. Stop right at 65, we'll take that off. I'm gonna leave that there for one second. And I'm gonna just clean this, make sure this is nice and wet and we'll get rid of all that milk residue. Maybe not wet enough, let's see. Okay, beautiful. So nice and clean, make sure that's spotless. Push it back in there, open up the valve. Just to release out, when you texture milk, there's always this chance that as the machine turns off, it'll suck some milk onto the inside of the steam arm and you just wanna make sure that that's purged. That's that, ready to go. And then we'll give our milk a little tap to get rid of any bubbles, a little polish. Let me pour our lats out. Nice and high to bind. Let me go nice and close to get our Rosetta stacked heart into a tulip. Beautiful, looks really good. I'm gonna enjoy this one. So that's the dual boiler. It's really good, it's really, really good. So that's the dual boiler. It's super quick to use, as you can see. All the heating element in here does is 
it makes sure you've plenty of hot water for your espresso, plenty of um, hot water and in effect steam for your steam pressure and it's a super neat machine. I think it's great value and great flexibility across um, all of our coffees then when you use the grinder.